Hmm. Just one more week till Halloween, right? Hmm. I wonder what it would be like this year. Oof. Sorry. people today? I think I joined so late. Oh, hey, their own. Sorry, my hands possessed. Oh, no, that's true. Sure, there's not many hills there. Yeah, no. Hey. I don't know why my brain thought something else. Hey, uh, well, congrats. Just one more week to go till the curse is gone. Yes. And we have big plans, um, where the one who caused the little mess. What do you mean? So that has its own type of obstacle. Lundrick and a couple of us are planning to have a party for Matt King to make sure he's keeping his word. Oh, you mean like the way to like lure him out? Yes. Uh, make sure at least um, try to give this Mad Thorn King guy a uh, invitation at least. Exactly. But how you even get this guy an invitation? He got to drive and spire by carrying and many other places. So, so someone has to have like his contact information. Hmm. Well, if it's like a plan made by Ludric, then it's definitely gonna work. Cause I know Ludric; he's pretty smart. You never know what's thinking behind that little face of his. Exactly. And that's one thing I fear about him. True. 
very bad. I'm picking up late. The real monster is people's stupidity about all day. If you're gonna watch any movie, and watch my quest focus. It's a real good classic. Focus, focus. Hmm? Yes. What are you talking about? I mean, I guess, like, if you watch, I think it's I'm suggesting a retro movie called Hocus Pocus. Hmm? Oh, he's looking for retro stuff. I mean, I mean, it's not very oldish in my world. Well, why not watch the, uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas? I think it's a little bit too for the shoulder again. I think it's, like, a must easier, even 400 years later to watch that one. Um, well, it's just, um... Um, I mean, it's not that old in uh, my world. I'm never gonna get tired of it. Very fair. Like what? Yeah, nice. 16 years now? Mm. I don't know. Well, let's see. So, I think that this is gonna be a Halloween little contest uh, next week. In fact, next week on Line 4 is gonna be Halloween. Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, see ya. See you, Vulcan. Sound. Yeah, that is the curse oh, of Vulcan, you? the champion of fire. Oh. No, but I have fight. an army of pixies if you ever want to get mischievous and cause some mischief. What? I was fake shooting Vulcan. No. I am a much. My, my parents decided not to let... Yeah, I personally have some custom ideas, but... For what? Almost at fortification, but that's fighting. Uh, for the uh, Lang Fork um, Halloween. Uh, I'm out of here. Oh, well, I'm gonna be wearing this. So, what do you think? Chimera and I am a mutt. I will keep it a secret for now, but I do have a spare idea wearing a uh, hunter skier's armor from Astera. I mean, I'm asking, what do you think of my costume? It looks like a normal show with a little bit of extra effort. Uh, but I like this necklace. It's a kind of chain necklace? I mean, I got, uh, this costume I got it from my world, so the budget is kind of limited. Because it ain't high tech stuff in my world. Uh, so wait, have we entered this contest? I've come across a lot of those. <laughs> I believe um, two been, days uh, we take like a photo and send it to the Lion Forks website. Um, like a photo? Yeah, a like when? Many different guilds over yes. the years. Yes, photo. So I have treated and seen almost every type of undead reed. Or a bonus session. Opening. Okay. And I actually got my phone to take it now, just in case. Fair enough. Uh, I'm just finding a good spot. You'll probably meet half them in the lobbies to go to if you tour around. There are very few people who have like just Um. Mm, a camera thing. It's not the tip. You, I haven't come across anybody who's mm. specifically fits in those bags. Um. Uh, gotta fix this thing. The bar's closed. By the looks of it. I seem so. <clears throat> yes.
I say that's good enough? Oh, hey. Hey, Nate. How are you doing? Yeah, can you believe it? Halloween's next week, I believe. Oh. At least you're doing good. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not affected by the curse or anything. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't go to Ludwig's party, oh, okay. so I'm just still me. Uh, I see. I didn't want. I just went to the Yeah, so uh, the Lion Forest gonna be having a costume contest next week. Yep. Hmm, I'm not sure. I may win first prize, but mainly at least a participation award will work for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I definitely want to participate. Oh, yeah? You got a costume you can use? Or you got a good costume? I'm wearing a costume right now. Burger time. Okay. <laughs> this, oh, is my, this is my costume. Oh, going, yeah. oh, thanks. Bye -bye. Okay. Hey, you're welcome. Yeah. That would be nice to know we're nice wearing like how do we contest? Hell yeah. It's still wearing this though. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, let me check something over there. Yeah. Alright, see ya. Um, uh, it's really not good to, to chuck rocks at like otherworldly eldritch tomes. It might anger it or release a demon, all that stuff. Uh, really? Say it out loud uh, like that. It sounds much more appealing. I will hold back. Well, any uh, how about this? Find a book. Hey, Link. That, like, Penny. looks like it could be old hey, enough Carfield. that it isn't actually, like, an evil elder's tome. Then you just, like, hey, put a pentagram on it, and then you throw a rock at that. But there is something it's kind of the same. Work. Except you I won't get that. terribly cursed. Mm. Oh, hey, Ebb and Flow. <laughs> can you say that again, DM? Hi, Nate. Hey. Well, I believe <laughs> Halloween's next week, right? <laughs> That's right. Uh, oh, I you gonna do the costume got? contest? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, this is the costume I'll be wearing. So, I mean, it's not the best, but uh, I think uh, I'll win. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, Eldritch like, Tome. What? Technically hey. not a trap, but there's hey. no like technically <laughs> trap trap. <laughs> so uh, like the weird gray area. Uh, should, just either should. Okay. Um, last time I opened a random book on the ground, I got sucked in. I go into some sort of magical adventure. Yeah. Happened to me twice. On this tube. Slot. No. My friends For the record, we should probably move everybody, everybody back when we finally actually get to opening it. Okay. So, where do you think a good distance? Right here, do you think it will work? For now? Yeah, just stand right here. Terry oh. cards? Yep. Okay. Which language For me, it was pretty accurate. Really? How so? I mean, if you're interested. Okay. So, how does it work? 
me where the my past my past present future. That's cool. We have to... Yeah, I'll pull out three cards. Uh, consecutively from past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have anything specific you want to bring up, like a worry or a wonder. Um, let's see. You could also use that. Um, should I just speak it out loud? Do I just say it out loud right now? Um, well, let's see. Um, well, I, uh, well, I'm an Isekai. Well, a year ago, I, have you know, entered this metaverse and just found a way to diverse from here to then. And while I was uh, kept exploring, I discovered that apparently... I'm somehow, well, I come from another world where magic doesn't exist, but somehow by entering the metaverse, I somehow guess sort of developing a magic affinity. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, it's inf uh, some sort of affinity to light, and I guess I could do maybe a tarot reading on that. Just wanting to know how your abilities are or where they stand, your strengths with them? Probably, yeah. You can do that. Work your magic, buddy. <laughs> right, you're past. Don't freak out with this card, but upright death. Uh, death what? usually means a stop. It doesn't just mean actual death. <laughs> Promise. In your past, you've had to cut things short, cut situations that may have not been enough for you at that moment. And they might still feel that way. You chose to stop something, or things have chosen to stop you in your tracks. I think it was probably maybe that point when I first got isekai into the metaverse. I would just randomly just somehow get into there for like some sort of inner space malfunction. <laughs> Something like that is bound to pull this card. Would make sense. Mm -hmm. Your mm -hmm. presence. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, my lordy. Alright. If you want Um. Okay, what was the card? And I pulled a reverse lovers in the one. <laughs> reverse temperance. Hmm? At the moment, uh, how about we take this uh, inside. inside the building. Good idea. <laughs> and we'll just so gonna... reverse temperance. Things are a little out of order with you right now. Mm -hmm. Chaotic, even. You're probably just. And complete confusion with how your powers can work or how you can even master them because it can be all over the place. Yeah. I can't imagine it being easy. Well, so far, it's from its check, still in a dormant state and not awakened yet. Hmm. It makes sense then. Your future. Which, just to let you know, I'm not a future teller, just one that can give you the blueprints. Reverse death. Hmm? This might be a situation where your powers might get cut short, they might be held back. Not just saying your powers, but things that surround the involvement of them. You might cause something that will stop a path for someone else. So whether right. that be in hard trouble, things involved in life, in trouble not in life you think lovely face yours. Very unsure of what could end for you or for others around you. But I'd be weary and make sure you and know so, what you're getting into. Enjoy the lovely you know. lives. Mm -hmm. And if someone else is staring at the gems. And there you go. Okay. Magic can be a very complicated thing. I was thinking mm -hmm. about that. So it makes sense as to why you're very unsure at the moment. Especially with what could come like such. 
So I hope it goes well for you. Practice Thank you. Perfect. I'm also on the on the magical realm as well, so I get you. <laughs> well, um, thank you for your time. Mind if I get a a reading? Yeah, no, problem. yeah. You know, I just will ask. It's a good way for me to practice. All right. Happen. Sure, it was worth it. Pardon me? Alright, as the lovely lady said, will I ever actually know the feeling of love? Get to know it. Your past, a reverse strength. You've definitely felt weakened by the idea of love. Whether or not it's been something in your life, it's been something that's kind of kept you subdued. Seems overwhelming or just the idea of it even happening to you feels hopeless present is an upright sun you're starting to feel more like you you're enjoying others around you and you feel a sense of love a sense of fun, love, comes with it. You're enjoying being around people and getting to know them. And it doesn't seem like it's ending anytime soon. Hmm. I can see that actually. Romantic love. That is a question that hopefully a future card will tell you. Reverse Empress. Whether or not you face love, you might have struggles with being over-nurturing or over-sensitive about someone else. Worried that the person that you do love and care for might be in danger or might be falling out of love with you. You're very overprotective of this person. Remember to remind yourself that that person loves you just just as much as you love them, and they'll make sure that they'll be around to fulfill that. You don't have to worry too much. Um, has the book problem been taken care of? Yeah, it's taken care of. Everything's okay. Alright. Let's get Don't know who the heck lived in Eldritch book out. Oh, hi. Oh. Alright then. Hello. Hmm. That's one. That's cool. You doing okay, not? Ooh. Yeah. It was a weird, like, Eldritch book out there for a second, but it got taken care of. We think it was trying to pretend to be a mimic, or like have some sort of defense See of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pardon us. Nice. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm gonna take you the real quick. Thank you, Alan. You're looking cute. Oh, you're looking cute. Hello. Yes. I mean, with your new outfit. It's good on you. Uh, what do you name? Right. Bring people over here. Well, I got a very little paper. So, when it's out going like this, I type my voice yep. in one. I get you. I'm sure you're turning a few heads with it. Um, I'm not going to be doing face. much. I need to tear in anyone face. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, same. <laughs> what I'm saying is, who's the main foe?
on Valentine's Day yet. It's Halloween. I don't know. It just was wild. Any holiday can be Valentine's Day if you're not a coward. Don't like filming the blood. Besides family. Love family very much. Go for it. Have fun. Don't like right. filming the love. You have any particular agency? Well, yeah, filming with family. Because family loves yeah. funny. Uh -huh. If you like someone, you can't. I'm gonna pull out your cards. I'm so accurate. Like we're fucking trying to figure out. Don't talk love for a reason. That's bad now, bro. I don't understand. Like, right. all the siblings and stuff like that seem to want to, like, hurt each other or, like, make fun of each other. Why is that? We never had a fight. Tell you about the blueprints of the past, present, and future. They won't tell you the future or what's going to happen. Please don't. We are very, we are very. Give you a sign or something. Session off. Yeah. No, we've had worse. We should not do that to us all the time. Like give us like that. She messed up our hair a lot. Another way to get the mouse away by bringing them to a bar or get some drinks. Thank you. Some muscle on this too, or just agents? Because with a vanguard, I probably don't want to do it with claws because people might just agents. You want to get any other ones? Stop pulsing. Yo, Nate, that was so exciting. Um, so the book problem been taken care of. Baby uh, Chase is away and. They didn't kill it. Okay. So, yeah. That was exciting. I've never been inspired by bards in the metaverse before. Okay. Well, um, our next meeting in Pag is gonna be the uh, Haunted Hotel. I'm gonna be absent, and I ask some people to keep an eye on you with those um, balloon Pokemons. And yeah, also press the vampires. Well, Snowbell well, did say that we're not visiting the vampire side. This was day. Oh, well, what if some after. vampires like come over to the ghost side? Then I entrust Aurora and the other diplomat to handle it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Well, when I do go there, um, we need to find this little ghost worker that works there. Um, what was her name? Tony. Tony, the one that's going in the pack. Uh, no, I remember the ones I went to the cave and we saw one of those ghosts that work at the uh, haunted hotel. They said that Tony brought them there and just, just uh, yes. ditched them. And they also, one time in the forest oh. with the corrupted crystals, and somehow they said that Tony like pushed them into the corrupted crystal, and never, never like where they went. So definitely gonna be looking for that guy. That's really cool. Sure, but can put it in the comms the day before. It's a reminder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but anyway, um, just hang in there, just one more week until uh, the curse is gone. Yes, and I already crafted some scrolls and other items, and a gift to the Bodic Twins. I see. Hmm. And, um... I'm making some early Christmas presents while I'm cursed. Oh. Two months in advance. <laughs> oh, I believe so. Um, I think being around the the 58th. Um, this week it's just gonna be the anniversary of by when I first entered the metaverse. 
Happy one year anniversary, and you're still alive, kid. Kitchen line fucking patrons, mm. we should be closing up now. So pork chop sandwiches, get the fuck out. Thank you, bye. Okay, see you later, Evan Flow. <laughs> I'm so getting into that Halloween contest. <laughs> See you later, Link. Up. Trying to steal a pumpkin. Uh, hey, little one. Uh, pork chop sandwiches time, but blind forks closing. All right. Off I go. What? Don't worry about it. I think that's their phrase of saying. See you later, guys. Take care. Mm hmm. Bye bye. Hmm. Stealing magic is different depending on how you do deal with it. Interesting. <laughs>